excuse me, is this the Philadelphia Mausoleum of Contemporary Art? Yeah. Okay, team, let's get to it. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho has got to go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho has got to go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho has got to go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, Eric, what's going on? Oh, hey, Kathy. I don't know, it's some sort of revolutionary anti-Christmas party protest. Uh, let's just get you inside and worry about this later. Hey, hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho has got to go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho has got to go. Welcome to Mausoleum Christmas Party, everybody. This is our favorite time of year, and we are honored to share it with all of you. We have a packed show tonight, full of uh, Christmas cheer and holiday surprises and uh, some very special guests. Uh, but first, please give it up for our guest house band this evening, the Happy Birthday Jesus Band. Sleigh bells ring, in the rain. Guys, what, what, what's going hey, on? Hey, we, we paid our $5. We have every right to be here. And protest parties. Boo. Wait, what, what in the world can anyone have against a Christmas party? What's going on here? Art such as this and parties should not commingle. This is entertainment. You're mixing entertainment with art that's wrong. Well, I think that here in, at the mausoleum, we actually consider a, a lot of entertainment to be art. And that is wrong. Boo! 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 Well, I, I'm sorry, I'm just not following you. I, I'm reading these signs, and, and uh, in a way, you're killing our holiday cheer. Have you considered that you are killing parties by having a party? Parties are not part of art. I, I, there is no art in party. Uh, honestly, I, I'm speechless. Uh, I think I'm just going to give up on this. Uh, we've, we've clearly reached an impasse. Um, what we are in need of is an impartial party, um, possibly someone with uh, cosmic abilities. Did um, somebody say cosmic abilities? Oh, coming at you from across the cosmos. It's Chip Cosmos, everybody. <laughs> Hello, denizens of Philadelphia and Earth. Merry Christmas, Chip. <laughs> have you arrived with a solution to this little dilemma we have going on? Well, on a cosmic scale, Christmas actually means nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> I always love a good party. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Very good. Uh, you know what? You guys are, you paid your $5. You're welcome to stay. Why don't you just uh, step off the stage for a few minutes, see how things unfold. Uh, we'll deal with this later. Uh, but while we have Chip here, is anyone here in need of some Christmas-related advice? Right there. Come on up, please. 
What's your name? Tabitha. Come, come on up. Tabitha, what would you like to ask Chip Cosmos tonight? Mr. Cosmos, hello. Hey. Um, my boyfriend's family is in Philly, and he wants us to visit his family for Christmas. But my family wants us to visit for Christmas, so what should we do? Hmm, quite the dilemma. Well, have you considered skipping both parties and going to the bar, or perhaps a strip club? That doesn't answer my, doesn't answer my question at all. That's really... <laughs> it's typical it Chip Cosmos. Help. Let's it let it go. <laughs> All right, let's give this another try. Anybody else have a question uh, for Chip Cot? Right there, come on up. All right, Chip, uh, lend us your wisdom for this final question this evening. Hey, Chip, I was wondering, what's the best gift you've ever received? What is the best gift you've ever received, Chip? Well, as a child, I had a sled called a rosebud. A sled called rosebud. Uh, do you still have that sled, Chip? No, but I do have some kind bud. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's wrap this up. Finally, what do you want for Christmas this year, Chip Cosmos? Champagne and women? Champagne and women. All right, we'll be right back with our first musical guest for the evening, Keyboard Kathy. Happy birthday, Jesus Band. Take it away. <laughs> And now, the song that has over 73,000 views on YouTube, right? You bet. It's a song called Sashimi, and we all know what Sashimi is, right? Right. Okay, it's called the sushi without the rice. So, are you ready? Yeah. Ready for something new? And maybe you haven't heard before? Maybe. Did you say maybe? Oh, come on, where's your sense of adventure? We went out for Asian fusion. There's a need for mass confusion. There's a dumb to walk conclusion. Have a sip of tea and fusion. You won't need a blood transfusion. Rid yourself of this delusion. All it is is an illusion. Can you make this small inclusion? You can have your Chinese dumplings. And your happy family. But if you want a taste adventure. the rice. Now I know what you are thinking, skipping sushi with that blinking. Something's wrong as she been drinking. Not at all, you caught me winking. Look at me, I'm not delirious. Your reaction is mysterious. Aren't you the least bit curious? You don't have to be so serious. Share that bowl of peanut dumplings. I'll try.
out the rice. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? It's an acquired taste. It isn't for everyone. Just remember to go easy and out wasabi. That's it. Just enough to put some heat on your tongue. Yeah. Downey, everybody. And please give a round of applause for keyboard Kathy. An unprecedented team up. Mausoleum Party proudly presents selections from Thunderlifts and the Ultimate Male's original Christmas rock opera. Tim Allen and Adam Sandler in Santa Claus 4, I now pronounce you Chuck and Santa. The life Santa wants 
knew was out of control moving to new york and leaving the north pole there was a hole in his soul and a stocking filled with coal and like his coal the future was black and charred that's why santa takes it hard Santa takes it hard he was upset and sad and he was dealt his card and now he looks at life with a And starting a new life He didn't look back Cause it cut like a knife That's why Santa Takes it hard Santa Takes it hard to take this opportunity to thank Eric and all the people at the mausoleum for having us here tonight. It's here for him. I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce to you a man whose mere presence will change your lives forever. Some call him the hitman. Others call him the excellence of execution. But you may call him Andrew fucking Dyer. And I'd like to introduce you to the ultimate male who makes all the ladies drool. He is the son of the one and only Dr. Steve Brule. He's no tool, he's no tour, but you can call him Baby Raw, Baby Raw, Baby Raw. No, and he's more cuddly and lovable than a bear named Bobo. And he petitioned TV to bring back Ow! Have mercy, Sheriff Lobo! The men call him Sir, but the women call him Jimmy Jack Jojo. And he's no slack jawed Yoko like Cletus. He's a zombie killing sex machine like Norman Reedus. And he's gonna play you guitar solo better than anything you've heard from your 8 track tapes of Weedus. Everybody, here's a guitar solo you can enjoy from the one, the only, Baby Raw, because you didn't come here tonight to rent C. Thomas Howland's Soul Man from the Blockbuster Video on Aramingo Avenue. You didn't come here tonight to rent Phantasm. You came here tonight because we're all going to climax when Baby Raw gives you a Santa Gazzo. All right, now everyone, I want every single one of you to put your hands together like this. And you keep clapping along, and you keep singing along because we're about to rock the house, and we're going to melt your faces with this one. Sing to the rooftops with me. He was upset and sad. Upset and sad. Alone and scarred. So alone, so scarred. But he had to do it. He had to do it. He had no choice. No choice, no choice, no choice. Christmas would forever be marred. That's why Santa takes it hard. He takes it hard. No, Santa takes it so hard. Yeah, Santa. Wrecking ball, Santa, Santa 
for Santa taking it so hard. He takes it Santa. hard. He takes it so hard. Takes it hard. Santa. Holiday. I want Santa to be straight, not gay. Why, Santa, why? You've always been a straight guy. Why, Santa, why? Your wife is dead and now you're by? Why, Santa, why? Tell me it's a lie. Why, Santa, why? There are tears in Diddy's eyes. so fake, but it's totally factual. The insurance clause in the prenup was contractual. I don't know how to put it in a way that's intellectual. What right, everybody, do we first give another round of applause for Thunder Lips and the Ultimate Males. That was, uh, that was quite a project. All right, I think the time has come to resolve this anti-Christmas party protest. Let's bring the head protester back up here. That, uh, that was uh, quite, quite an evening of art. Um, we heard stuff in Latin, that's very artistic. Rock operas, that's artistic. Um, I don't buy into the whole pretzels and candy cane. I, I don't understand what's up with that. Why can't you enjoy a good Latin Christmas carol without, um, you know, wine and booze? And Santa likes wine! Well, I think we all respect your opinions here, lead protester, but uh, I don't know. I think what we've tried to do tonight is capture the essence of Christmas in its many forms. I, I, I don't think Christmas is about this type of thing. It's... There's, uh, no, I, I would have to disagree with you respectfully. You know, it's disappointing because the whole reason that we threw this party is for people like you who don't necessarily believe in Christmas parties. That's the reason to have a party for people who don't like parties? Well, well, well the goal is to open your eyes to the magic of it all. Um, but is there anything we can do to rekindle your love of Christmas parties? No! It would take... A Christmas miracle. Right on cue, everybody. Please welcome Santa Claus. Hey, hey, hey. Oh no, it's Bigfoot. Oh, I, I, I haven't seen you since that time I tried to have you assassinated. Bigfoot, forgive Eric. For sake of holiday. You would really do that. You would forgive me for trying to kill you in the spirit of Christmas? Ah, yes. Bigfoot. This love spirit of holiday. Bigfoot. Love everybody. Bigfoot, frankly, I, I don't know what to say for this, uh, this Christmas miracle. Well, I do. <laughs> Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the air, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. You know, when I first moved to the city, I didn't know the true meaning of Christmas parties. And I came here tonight, and I came here to protest with my group about Christmas parties because Christmas is not about parties, it's about Christmas, but I was wrong. And I felt that way because when I moved here, I didn't know anyone. And on one Christmas night, I invited everyone in my building to a party. I handcrafted all the invitations. I made figgy pudding, I made turkey, I had a great spread, I had music, and no one came. 
no one came to my party and I felt very bitter about it. And I thought because of that, no one should ever have fun at Christmas parties again. And that's why I came tonight. But you showed me differently. All of you people here who came tonight, you were full of happiness and joyousness. And then Bigfoot came along and he showed you forgiveness. Yes, Bigfoot showed forgiveness. And that's really, really what... Yes, Bigfoot, that's really what the season is all about, the joyousness and the magic and just the togetherness that we all feel. And, and because of that, I just have to say thank you for showing me the magic of Christmas parties, Eric Mausoleum. I, I've got to say, I've got to say that it's been my pleasure. Hit it, happy birthday, Jesus Band. Gone away. Winter Wonderland. You know, we learned a lot about Christmas parties tonight. We learned that Christmas parties are about forgiveness. We've learned that Christmas parties are about sharing. And most of all, we've learned that Christmas parties are a necessity. Keep more Kathy, everybody! Say, are you married? We'll say no, man! Everybody! And a week will snow man And pretend he's a circus clown To have some fun with Mr. Snowman To all the bands on the town When it snows, it's thrilling Oh, no, it's chilling Come and play, let's go away Quite a Christmas party, everybody. I'd like to thank everyone involved. I'd like to thank Keyboard Kathy. I'd like to thank Suzanne Muldowney. I'd like to thank Thunderlips and the Ultimate Males. And an extra special thank you to our house band, the Happy Birthday Jesus Band. Wish you all the happiest of holidays. Thank you all for coming out. Happy Birthday Jesus Band, take it away. Yeah.